The trial has started. We've already been cursed by the prosecution, and now we're about to spend an hour or so wrangling about how you can stuff somebody in a coffin using a lift. <laughs> but that's Phoenix Wright for you. We're the bittersweet gamers. I'm we scared. I'm the opinionator, and I'm the opinionator. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't have anything. So how indeed was the dead body raised up into the coffin? By the accused. Trucy Wright, that is. You're committed to pointing the finger at her no matter what, huh? Then you explain how that even be possible! Gladly. Thank you for allowing me the chance. But of course. And leave your magic butterflies out of this, buddy! How do you do that?! There was a way for even a small creature like her to raise the victim's body up. Huh? Wait, you really can't explain it? Oh, no! Thanks, Athena! <laughs> I foresaw that our arguments would come to this, so I have prepared a witness. Oh, goody. Well, well, I admire your readiness, prosecutor. It is really not that difficult when one can read the ultimate outcome of any trial. Oh, maybe you better tell me so I can just nip this in the bud. Gladly, your honor. Objection! He couldn't have really predicted that things would turn out like this, could he? It's pretty hard to believe, but he is making these spirit magic <laughs> butterflies and stuff. <laughs> Excuse me, but may I step down now? Yes, you can vanish into the ether. Uh, now hold on, your honor. Hmm. Yes, I suppose you may. One moment, Detective Sky. What now? I'm, I'm sorry for, you know, the way I handled all of this. You did a fine job, Detective. Your testimony was invaluable. Uh-huh. It was? But I was undermining you the entire time and actively rooting for the other side. And he's going to find a way to turn it against us. Yes, you served well as a detective, and did not allow your personal feelings to interfere. You overcame the conflicted emotions you felt, and performed your duty admirably. You will be rewarded for your fine work. A pay raise? Um, I'm a little confused. <laughs> Thank you? I hope we can work together again in the future. Through at least three more trials. Emma seems bewildered by the unexpected praise. She's probably never received it in her life. So am I, come to think of it. I guess he's a pretty nice person, like they say, as long as you're not up against him. He did have a reputation for being really nice. True. Now then, let us call the next witness. Yep, Bonnie. Of course. Or is it? Maybe this is Bunny. Yeah. Witness, please state your name and occupation. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the court. It's very nice to meet all of you. I'm a Lego morphing illusionist <laughs> from the land of fairy tales, Bonnie de Femme. Hey, leave the horrible jokes to me. Oh, I'm so sorry. You go right ahead, Billy. Thank you. I can't wait to do some magic tricks for all of you. Let me show you my favorite one with Mr. Bun Bun <laughs> under my hat. What is with the witnesses having animals on their heads? <laughs> you got all me? You've got Bonnie? <laughs> what? Is the next one going to be wearing a fishbowl on their head? <laughs> like, the hat will just come up and there'll be like a fish. Flop, flop, yeah. flop, 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 flop. <laughs> Please, witness. There is a time and a place for all things including magic. Aw, but, but I'm a professional magician, so the time and place for magic is all the time. But it would be okay if I do just a little magic, right? Come on, please. Look, everybody is waiting. Now is my chance to shine. I'm on the edge of my seat. Is he saying like Chakra? He's saying either Chatra, Chatra, or 
Satora or something. I'll be able to hear it really clearly when I'm editing. Yeah, yeah. Ultimately, I could easily just obtain the voice clip because that I, you can do that in like five minutes. Yeah. In yeah. fact, we could stop what we're doing right now and do it if we really wanted. Hey. Yeah, but we'd have to really want. That is your second time. Uh-oh. Oh, are they going to defy him three times? Is that going to be part of his routine? It's I guess like, so. It's like Edgy Poo's. Part of his routine was he could never get the witness to state their name and occupation. Yeah, you're right. My second time doing what? There will be no further warnings. You should know that from our preparatory meeting, correct? <laughs> Is no one exempt from his holiness's rosary of suffering? <laughs> rosary of suffering! May we have your testimony, witness, once you've recovered from your, and mine, disappointment. <laughs> well, as a huge fan of Trucy's, I don't really want to testify against her, lie, 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 <laughs> but I guess I have to, don't I? As a huge fan of Trucy's, huh? Apollo really needs to start carrying around like a tape recorder or something. I hate her. I loathe her. I can't stand that Trucy right. Just because she's a little good at magic, she thinks she's all that. So this is exactly what that sniveling brat deserves. Sure. You're a real fan, all right, of destroying Trucy, you mean. All right, what's this about? Jumping right to the testimony. Yeah. I really can't believe that Trucy killed Mr. Vias. I guess it's possible for a small girl to lift a dead body up if she used a stage lift. Is it possible? Could Trucy really have? I, th but we'll get to this okay, in a minute. Okay. As when, we, when we're actually cross-examining her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Trucy did use a stage lift, I think she must have used stage lift number two. I was on stage for the entire show, by the way. <laughs> it's really important you say that, isn't it? You were on stage the whole time, and you're sure about that? I mean, it couldn't have been Mr. Ratens. Yeah. So it would have had to have been Dark Bonnie. <laughs> I'm glad that that's our name for her. There is no question. The entire audience could testify to that fact. What's more, she is shown clearly in the TV show footage as well. I couldn't possibly have killed Mr. Rius. Got it, bittersweet gamers. <laughs> Not little old me. Yeah, well, I don't. Care at all about your excuses. Oh, <laughs> you really did do the puns. Good job, Billy. It's what the fans were expecting. I'm so sorry. Therefore, the only person who could have killed the victim under stage is the accused. Furthermore, by using a stage lift, even a petite young lady could have raised the body up to the stage without difficulty. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Very well. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Let's take a look at that lift evidence. Why don't we? Judge? <laughs> was there okay. Any... It was already all the way up, according to Trucy. Yeah, so we should look at Trucy's account, and that'll take care of it. I have to remember which one's Trucy's account. Statement, yeah. account, chicken feeds, one of those. Well, she never told anyone. So that means it's probably that the statement is, I bet she would have used lift number two, and we're like, ah, oh, but li lift number two had been moved. Yeah, so she must would have had to have used lift number one. We're ready for you! Stupid rabbit. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> I got a million of them. I really can't believe that Trucy killed Mr. Rius. You said you're a huge fan of Trucy's. Isn't that right? Oh, yes. I even became a magician because I wanted to be just like her. That's such a lie. I know. I'm not talking about... Well, okay, here she's explaining it. So it just seems like Bonnie would have hasn't been doing it for long enough. Well, 
you're right, but this also could be Bonnie and not Dark Bonnie. They, that's true. She might not be lying about this part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no... It is just speculation about Dark Bonnie, but we're... That's what no, we're banking on. There's a lot of evidence, on. including in the dressing room, that seemed to hint narratively that there's something fishy going yeah, on. Yeah, for but instance, there's, a, there's two rabbits. Uh-huh. One of them is dark. They specifically said that twins don't have the same. She, Her claim to fame is teleportation. And when she's like, and I always get that right. And, you know, there were the two, uh, the two birds. Uh-huh. The two bird cages. And one was a, covered up. Yeah, and there was like a horrible noise coming from one. It's just, like you said, there was, there has been evidence. It's just, it, it is kind of premature. I understand, and I'm fine with that, but that... I agree with you, yes. you know? Yes. <laughs> the first time I saw her, she was performing at the Wonder Bar. Hey, that might have actually been where Phoenix was playing. When oh, he, I don't he, actually know. When he, I don't remember the name of it, but that's when he was a pianist who couldn't play the piano. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she was only in junior high back then, but she got up on stage with tons of confidence. And then she proceeded to win my heart with her astonishing tricks and winning smile. Hmm. She certainly sounds like she means all of that. So, finally being able to perform with her must have been quite a treat for you, right? Oh, yes. After all, it was my chance to have her see me. Not just as a fan, but as a fellow magician. Yay! Oh! That is pretty adorable. Why are there so many animals in here? <laughs> but then that horrible accident happened it was not an accident it was murder witness please explain if you would how a small young woman such as Trucy Wright could have raised the body well I guess it is possible if she used a stage lift what makes you think it'd be possible? It's not like you tried it out yourself, right? Apollo, basic logic makes us think it's possible. Oh, I mean, we already had this part figured out. We just want to see all the dialogue, because it's funny, huh? Actually, we did try it out for ourselves. You killed someone? He's very thorough. <laughs> you, you did? Detective Sky, if you would. Oh, even though I already stepped down from the stand, here I am back on the stand again. Or is this a different stand? I'm Who telling knows? Why doesn't anybody... Ah! So that's why you made me do that. Detective Sky, what was that outburst before you started? <laughs> anyway, what did you have you do? The prosecutor asked me to try raising one of the male police officers with, with the stage lift. Without a single word of explanation as to why he was making me do it. You're kidding. <laughs> it's as if he really can foresee all of our counter-arguments. <laughs> Do not underestimate a man who has access to the game script. <laughs> you are such a cheater. I guess that means Trucy could have lifted the dead body up. Does that mean... And you can really see the difference between Bonnie and Emma. Yeah. They're both are supposed to be they're supposed to claim that they're on Trucy's side. Uh -huh. But Emma's like risking her career for yeah, it. Yeah. And Bonnie is like, well, she could have used this exact lift. And yeah. Is what possible now? Could Trucy really have what, Mr. Fam? Please finish your sentence that you didn't say, but you did once in the anyway. <laughs> uh, well, uh. Don't try to beat around the bunny. Come right out and say it. Apollo? What? Why not tell this court what you really believe? What I really believe? Well, of course I... Of course I don't believe Trucy could ever commit murder. Such an amazing and wonderful magician would never do such a thing. But taking all the facts into account, what else can I think? <laughs> I know of at least three other unflattering things you really think about Trucy. 
How can you attack this girl when she is obviously speaking with reserve? Yeah, Apollo. Athena! <laughs> don't take his side! There is such a thing as reading between the lines, Mr. Justice. I expect you to take his side! <laughs> it's sad how the youths of today lack the ability to do such a basic thing. Or me, that's why I have to take classes. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Looking at me like that isn't gonna help me stick my foot in my mouth less, Your Honor. Witness, please describe what the accused <laughs> might have used to lift the dead body. All right. If Trucy did use a stage lift, I think she must have used stage lift number two. Stage lift number two? You mean the stage lift shown here on the left? That's right. With a stage lift, I'd think even a small girl like me could easily lift a dead body up to the stage. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. And so that makes her the murderer, in your opinion? Oh, of course not. I believe in Trucy. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of hers. Oh, right. How long is she going to keep this act up? See, and this just makes me think that that there is another one because if she really wanted to get Trucy, then she wouldn't like, I feel like she would be m giving more information or like phrasing it differently to try and implicate Trucy more. But here she seems really hesitant about it. She's just mm. like, well, I mean, it does make sense, but you might be right. Because there is no point for her to really have the nice girl act in court if she really doesn't like Trucy. Like, she could... Well, if she drops the act, then, like, that's actually bad for her career. Okay, that's true. But that's I'm true. not, I'm not like, completely disagreeing with what you're saying. I'm, it, you're probably right about it. Defense. What position was stage lift number two in after the show? Behind the curtain. Let's see. If I recall, it was in the fully raised position, which is why we know this is the statement that we're going to use to smack you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I mean, uh-oh, I haven't figured it out. <laughs> and the reason why it was fully raised is because the accused used it to lift the victim's body. Wouldn't you agree? Wrong! Because she would have to lower it and then get back on the right lift in order to appear in her position, which means if that's the case... What? Like, when she lifted to put Mr. Rias in, in order for her to appear in the right spot, she'd have to lower it again and then get on the other stage lift, stage lift one, which is in the right position, and then raise it up. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're absolutely right on that. It just... I don't know, I just wanted to re reaffirm it. No, 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 you had it. You actually had thought that through past where I had. Uh huh. That, that'll, be that. coming, that'll be coming up when we do that. I know. So you can brag about it then. Yeah. Feel free to slowly mull it over while you roast over the flames of hell, you evil red pepper. <laughs> so now I'm also an evil red pepper. Man, you're just not really earning much karma cred, are you? <laughs> Everybody hates me. I was on stage for the... I was still talking. <laughs> you didn't have a single spare moment to slip down to the understage passage? I mean, the video shows as much. Huh? D don't tell me you suspect me now. <sighs> I... It's just that... So many times, man, so many times in the series do you see somebody who is just completely faking their attitude, who turns it around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But maybe because of that, yeah. it might be that this is the white bunny. You might might be, might be. I also like how her like chest like her little cravat or something looks like a heart. Like and bunny fluff. I never noticed that it looked like a heart, but I like how you called it bunny fluff. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my job by fully examining your alibi. Depending on how solid it is, I might have to suspect you, yeah. 
Uh-oh. Or there is that. Or, mm. I mean, what did I just say? Yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Don't spit on my head and tell me it's raining, lawyer boy. I'm right there in the footage. Or are you too much of an idiot to see? Uh, I can't believe it was that easy to call her out. Miss DeFam, are you feeling all right? You seem suddenly different. Well, I was listening to the crap that that Damon guy was spewing. And it just made me realize I shouldn't hold that. Oh, uh, <laughs> where did that come from, right? <laughs> oh, my. I seemed to have snapped there for a second, didn't I? <laughs> you didn't just snap. <laughs> you broke character just now. In any case, I was on stage the whole time performing magic. I mean, you saw me in the footage, right? My dazzling and flawless performance. Aha! Uh -huh. Flawless. Well, that's odd. Considering what you told me, you said that you'd made a mistake with where you positioned Mr. Hat. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Miss Defam, to what is the defense referring? Well. I made a little mistake on stage. I was in charge of operating Mr. Hat, you see. According to the script, I was supposed to place him to the left of the coffin. Oh, is no one going to address how she's supposed to do this while staying on stage? Because I feel like that's an important thing to note! The witch is behind the curtain! Come on! How?! I don't know, maybe a remote control? Well, if, if they what I say think, something, if they address it, then fine. What I think is funny is this is normally the sort of thing that I'd be howling about. <laughs> like, role reversal. Yeah! <laughs> and, but you know, why Why is she in charge of it? See, I'm fine with hand-waving some way for her to, to do it. Where's all the freaking stagehands? That's what I was about to say. <laughs> why isn't there a stagehand in the above area? Even with poor funding, there should be at least like three or four people back there moving stuff. Poor funding? Do you see the ridiculous stuff yeah, that they're doing? Yeah, I know. I was funding? just saying, even in that example. No, like, yeah, even yeah. Even in that example. <laughs> but I flubbed it up and made him stand to the right of the coffin instead. That is in no way a humongous change and a foolish mistake that's not going to be important in any way. And because of that mistake, Trucy had to move the stage lifts around. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah? What if... I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh-huh. But what if... What if Bonnie changed Mr. Hat in order to make Trucy move the lift? Yeah, that would make sense. No, I don't know what exactly that would accomplish. That would mean that the second lift was moved where it is. I mean, because the lift, the sec, the lift number two, or whatever the lift was, lift that, two. was that was already up the two. whole time, yeah, two. that one was maybe up, but it wasn't supposed to be up. Yeah. It was up. And then she made the mistake, the quote-unquote mistake, with Mr. Hat. So, so that way Trucy wouldn't be able to get the lift back down, so she would have to use the other lift. Yeah! And so that means the positioning of the thing would be important, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I feel really bad about messing Trucy like, me messing Trucy up like that with my goof. <laughs> uh-huh. Darn it. I don't see any inconsistencies in her testimony, and apparently what I was thinking was wrong, too. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know who the real killer is? Yes, I do. Look at the bones! That was a Monty Python reference. Oh, I don't even know that. Much. The killer rabbit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on, Gramps. Don't just sit there. Hand down your ruling, Prano. Do it quick before you keel over up there. The keel over up. Uh, I beg your pardon. I, I can't read lines. I'm you sorry. You leave my keels out of this, young lady. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's gotten into me? I'm so sorry. When I snap, I apparently lose the ability to read. <laughs> 
I give her another five minutes before she tears off that mask. Well, Defense. Are you ready to let it all go now? No. Of course not! I'll never give up! I see. I suppose this too is fate. The sacred scriptures of Kurianism describe a variety of hells for the damned. For someone like you who struggles ceaselessly against his fate. Papul Bolgig seems most appropriate. Gesundheit. People boil. What? Oh, wait, that's Koreanese. Ah, people boiling actually is a hell in, J in, J in Japan. J J J J J J J yeah, that's why I was thinking. Yeah. What sort of terrible place is Papul Bolgig? A place where the more one struggles, the further one falls into the abyss. At the bottom of the abyss, a ferocious beast awaits. Think of it as something akin to an antlion sand pit trap. Ooh, I think you got upgraded, Apollo. Why is he always talking about bugs? I... Oh, there's one of those in my backyard. I don't know, man. <laughs> wow. Crying as hell is closer to home than I thought. Like the Buddhist stuff. Yeah. Now then... It would appear that the witness's testimony supports the prosecution's claim. Hey, wait a no minute! No need for cross-examination! <laughs> that the defendant is the only one who could have killed the victim under stage. Uh, how are we supposed to get out of this jam? Hey, Apollo? If you can't find any contradictions... Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe it's time to use analytical psychology! It's Athena's time to shine! This is going to be your first time to see this, isn't it? Yeah. You mean? I heard some discord in Bonnie's voice while she was testifying. See? Widget is picking up the noise in her heart, too, because what? That's right. Athena can hear things others can't with her super sensitive hearing. Oh my god. She can hear the emotions people suppress as a kind of noise or discord in their voices. All right, Athena, let's give it a try. You got it! <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Your Honor! I'm afraid that our witness, Miss DeFam, is suffering under terrible traumatic stress due to this horrible incident. She is? Yes. What with that terrible death on stage and her beloved Trucy getting arrested, she's under awful strain and shock. Athena, don't ham it up so much. Nobody will believe you and they'll think you're just bluffing to buy time. Em. <clears throat> In fact, I don't know how much more Elf can read words. In fact, I don't know how much more she can take before she is unfit to testify. What? What? Oh, I've heard of that. What is it called? Postal stress disorder, right? I hate waiting for my packages in the mail. It's where a person becomes uncontrollably angry, I think. I read about it somewhere. That's going postal, Your Honor. This is PTSD. Oh my. So that's why the witness acts so hostile at times, as if she were a different person. Uh-huh, funny, sure. Funny way to put that. Yes, and I think her condition is clouding her memory of the incident. Therefore, I suggest a short therapy session for the witness. See, this is the thing. I could never buy why this would happen. Like, how <laughs> do you get that to go on in a courtroom? I understand she's a lawyer with the agency. It's, I mean... <laughs> but can you, and I understand that she has the qualifications, but can you really <laughs> convince a judge to let you do this? Only judge to judge the judge. Huh? Therapy? You don't know the first thing about a magician's mental strength. I've risked my life jumping through rings of fire and having my body sawn in half, and besides, what if I just refuse? <laughs> I mean, oopsie, boy, I have to watch my temper, don't I? <laughs> I 
Very well, you sold me. <laughs> Miss Sykes, please do whatever you can to help this unfortunate young lady. Ah, oh, dang it, it's my fault. <laughs> and what exactly is this child planning to do, Mr. Justice? With her super sensitive hearing, Miss Sykes can hear a witness's true emotions. You now this is probably going to feel kind of similar to uh, like the divination ceremony. Well, I pointed out when the divination seance happened that it was similar to Athena's. Okay, okay. I just forgot. Well, this is the first time you've seen this. That's fair. Simply from tone and inflection, she can tell exactly what a person is feeling. I can even pick out feelings that a witness is trying to suppress or hide. <laughs> Widget projects the emotions I hear into the mood matrix where I can analyze them. What? That's crap! It sounds like some sort of spurious devilry. Though I find it hard to believe. Hold on, let me summon another soul butterfly. <laughs> I must ask. How do emotions constitute evidence? Hmm. While I won't say that emotions can be taken as evidence per se, I have seen how instrumental Miss Sykes' work has been in cracking a case. Therefore, I wholly support giving it a try. I'm the judge, Neener Neener. <laughs> I see. If you are in favor of it, Your Honor, then I have no objections. Even this mere monk can see that something disturbs the witness. <laughs> I'll disturb your face! Already done, jeez. <laughs> oh, thank you for understanding, Prosecutor Saad Mahdi. It is my pleasure, child. Ooh, he's such a bishy. Apollo, you remember how to cons conduct a therapy session, right? No, I don't in fact do know how to do do that what? You want me to lead the session? Of course. You're the lead on this case, after all. Hey, but I was going to be the lead on my next case, too, and you're going to take that from me. I guess you probably need this. Huh? Yes. Okay, but I think Billy could use a refresher. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't have a problem with Cyclops. I don't have a problem with soul butterflies. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with perception. But uh, this just bugged me. There's not really a human element to this. I mean, there kind of is, but it doesn't feel like it. I, Maybe? Uh, I like guess artificial? This was, this was the part where it just broke my suspension of disbelief. Uh. But I mean, I, mean I, I can get over it. I'm fine. I just have to mention that. Yeah. So... Bonnie's emotions are shown here in the mood matrix, right? Exactly. The emotions I pick up on from her testimony are projected into this program. The mood matrix gives a visual representation of a witness's testimony and emotions. These four mood markers reflect fluctuations in a witness's emotions. As testimony unfolds, the mood markers flash in reaction to the witness's feelings. When the witness feels happy or is enjoying the memory, the happy marker will light up. When the witness feels angry or frustrated, the angry marker will react. When the witness feels sad or is scared by a memory, the sad marker will blink. And when the witness feels surprised or confused, the surprise marker will tell us, well, let's just boil everything down into four easy-to-understand terms, shall we? Oh, no, man. It is it is more complicated than that. I okay. also love the surprise marker's face. <laughs> Woo! You see, there's a difference. More than one emotion can be going at, a, at the same time, plus there's differing levels of oh, strength. okay. And so you can okay. have three or, three or even four emotions on the same one with differing levels of strength okay. even the same. All right, all right. Okay, yeah, I remember now, sort of. I need to find a conflict between what she's saying and which mood markers are blinking. That's right. And Miss Defam definitely has some conflicted emotions. See? Widget reacts to the suppressed emotions I pick up and projects them as noise. How? Don't ask. If we can pinpoint the inconsistencies between her testimony and her feelings... 
The noise level should drop to 0% and the therapy session will be a success. I have to say, this is bunk. <laughs> when you find an unexpected emotion, just tap that emotion's mood marker, okay? Okay, now to give it a whirl. I guess Trucy is the one who killed Mr. Rias. Seems legit here. Even she can move the body with that lift. Are, these are really interesting to look at, though. Now hold on! Like, if, but, the, How is he's this not just going to magically schloop into the box. Like, I thought she was on it with him to put him in the box. Yes, you're right. But you know what we're looking at? Widget is constructing oh. from Athena's tippity tappities this visual right, representation right. of the. No, you're right. You can't just slump him down like that, but just one thing at a time. Okay, okay. I was on stage at the time, but that terrible mistake. My stupid flub caused Trucy so much trouble. I feel so bad about it. Hey, this is the one. Hint, hint. Oh, he just went through. <laughs> I mean... I have to say, Mr. Fam, you certainly are a strange one. And not just because you look like a wabbit. She does look like a wabbit, and that's pretty strange. Even though you said, I feel so bad about it, <clears throat> it seems you were feeling happy about it. Care to explain your feelings? <laughs> No. I think I can guess why you were feeling happy. It must be because... Man, you messed Trucy up. I think you were happy because you messed the defendant up. <sighs> I'm right, aren't I? I mean, she doesn't have to admit it. Y you gotta be kidding me. Why would I be happy I messed Trucy up? I'm a big fan of hers! Because we saw you. Ho ho ho. I hate her. I loathe her. And I can't stand that Trucy right. Just because she's a little good at magic, she thinks she's all that. So this is exactly what that sniveling brat deserves. We saw how you said you hated Trucy Wright. How you were glad she was in trouble, and even how it was what she deserved. Ah! It looks like I hit the bunny on the head, <laughs> so to speak. Apollo, that joke was unwarranted. Athena, <laughs> apologize now. I'm so sorry. Arrgh. I don't know what's worse, what you're accusing me of or that stupid joke you just made. <laughs> Apollo, the noise level dropped. Now if we could get it down to 0%. Well, I'm still not sure how this works, but well, <laughs> Ms. Defam, are you ready to confess how you really feel? But what? What do you mean? I'm Bonnie, the sweet, cute little bunny. I'm a rookie magician working hard to be just like my idol, Trucy. That's the character I'm supposed to be. That's, yes, that is the character you're supposed to be. Objection. Keep that up, Mr. Defam, and you're going to have a mental breakdown. Just let yourself be who you really are. Who I really am? The two sides of you are fighting each other and doing you psychic harm. Psychic harm! Just like soul lasers! <laughs> I can hear them. Two distinct voices battling inside you. Shut your pie hole! You know nothing know it all? Since when is this admissible in a court of law? <laughs> uh, I mean, you mustn't say things like that or I might get flustered. 
Miss DeFam, how long do you insist on maintaining this wolf in sheep's clothing act? That was pretty good, Apollo. You didn't make a rabbit pun, but you still made an appropriate one. I I was about to say something else dramatic, Athena, and then you completely derailed me. Why did you do that? That's what I'm here for. I was going to say something. Well, it's, it's all gone now. Never <laughs> mind. We can't end this therapy session until you get real with us. <laughs> Besides, even if this all is complete hooey, you're still convincing everyone that you're lying about something with this weirdo act of yours. <laughs> Set the wild beast inside you free! Is she going to transform into a were-rabbit? Ow! Ah! <laughs> 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 don't make me laugh. You don't know a dang thing about me. You want to see who I really am? Fine. Take a good look. Uh. That's awesome. Ah! What is going on? <laughs> what? I mean, what the hell? Sheep's clothing? You've got it all wrong. It's a rabbit suit I've got on. And I'm not a wolf. I'm a blood-sucking vampire. A bat with fangs and wings. Your voice is completely different. <laughs> ah! I... I think we just opened Pandora's box. Yeah, that's not hope that's stuffed back in. <laughs> I'm finally done with that goody two-shoes cottontail act. I feel free as a bat. <laughs> this I is... think someone else needs to be exercised here. Maybe you'd better get on that whole exorcism thing, all right? Uh, defense! Your therapy session has taken a turn for the worse from the looks of it. Athena, you really messed everything up! I need, like, a cross and some garlic or something. There is a perfectly good explanation for this. Isn't there, Mrs. Sykes? <laughs> um, <laughs> me thinks I created a monster. And Frankenstein always hates the monster! We blew it! Hey, you, lobster boy! Now I'm a lobster! You think I'm glad Trucy is in trouble? That I think she's getting her just desserts? By the way, I like how she is backwards. Yeah, mirror yeah. Mirror-imaged. Well, guess what? You're right! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, does this mean you admit to wishing the defendant harm? Kind of. Well, the bat's out of the bag now. Come on, Billy. Why don't you make a bat pun? Damon, we need to be really careful not to raise her vamp ire. If you could see the stupid <laughs> look on his face right now, you would say... That is a really punchable face. <laughs> because you can't spell schadenfreude without ha. I guess you're right. <laughs> well, the bat is out of the bag now. Ah! Ha, ha. <laughs> that mistake of mine was a work of art. Now she's on doing it the other hand. Now she's left-handed instead of right-handed. Thanks to my goof. Poor little Trucy had to do all of that hard physical labor. When you say hard physical labor, what are you referring to? Because of Mr. Hat's new position, Trucy had to move both of those huge stage lifts. They must have been so heavy. What a riot! <laughs> This is the stupidest thing <laughs> I've ever seen, but that's strange. Athena, 
Could you please add that last statement to Bonnie's testimony? Are, are you sure? All right, I'll update the mood matrix with the new info. I expect it all to be red. Again, evidence. Contradict. Hmm? Hey, Apollo. Now there's a new inconsistency in the testimony. See, how does it work this way? I don't know, man. Yeah, she finally slipped up. So, what do I need to do now? Well, from this point onward, you just do what you do best. Find the contradiction in the testimony and present evidence to refute it. Oh, I thought you were going to say that I should do my cards of steel. We should probably do that, too. Okay, understood. Why not both? I've got you now, body de fam. I'm trying to think how that name is some kind of vampire pun. Here we are. <laughs> you know what? Serves her right. <laughs> Can we press on that one? It wouldn't let me. But here's the thing. Thanks to that, she ended up having to move the stage lifts. How could she know? Of course. Trucy never told anyone. I'd say more about it. No, no, no. It's oh, Trucy's statement. Account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, double check it real fast. I'd say something about it, but we did just spend all this time going over it. Yeah. Objection. That doesn't make sense. For some reason, I couldn't present this very same piece of information <laughs> last time. But I guess it was okay because we drew out your evil nature. What? So you think I'm crazy now? I do think you're a mirrored evil rabbit, Bat. <laughs> yes. I mean, no. That's not the point I was trying to make. But I don't hear you denying it. Miss Defam, allow me to repeat your statement. Thanks to that, she ended up having to move the stage lift. Gee -hee -hee. That's right, and I still say that. But how did you know? How did you know Miss Wright moved the stage lifts? Uh huh. According to her own statement, she didn't tell anyone that she had done so. <laughs> what? So how could you possibly have known what she had done unless? You saw her. You saw Miss Wright moving the lifts in the understage passage, didn't you? Key! <laughs> <My> <laughs> <umbrella>. <laughs> well, I guess here we thought we were jumping really far ahead. But I guess they're dealing with this now, and yeah. frankly, that was kind of adorable, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah! Bye-bye! <laughs> you did it, Apollo! Noise levels are at zero percent! But since we know Bonnie was on stage... But, but, Mr. Justice, wouldn't that mean... Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Fam herself was under the stage where the victim was killed. And I hardly need to tell the court what that means. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> you are one artful liar, Miss DeFam, and one spectacular suspect! I am a magician. Yeah! We're not gonna address the elephant shrew in the room? Best I got. <laughs> Why, you shiny red lobster boy! I like to eat lobster. You're saying I killed Mr. Rius? I'm saying that it's a possibility. What's more... I say you had a solid motive to frame my client for the murder as well. My apologies for reigning on the defense's merry revelry. But you seem to have forgotten one very important point. What is it now? That was my line. <laughs> it's that Bonnie was on stage. Oh, right. So we right. have to address the whole evil twin thing. Yeah, yeah. The TV footage. As you can clearly see, 
Miss Defam was on stage the whole time. The entire audience can bear witness to that fact, including you. Oh, yeah! <laughs> You have just taken a long and senseless journey, only to return to the starting line. All right, smarty pants, then how did she know? The witness could not have been in the understage passage, which means the only one left who could have killed the victim is the accused. Hey, ha! Guess the party's over. Hey, wait, you gotta refute our point, sad mad! Yeah! Uh, but, 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 Mr. Fam knew something she couldn't have known unless she was under the stage. Yeah. How do you explain that, Prosecutor Sadmati? It's quite simple. The accused must have told Miss Defam about it, but then forgot. What? When would that have happened? Yeah. There's no time in which that could have occurred. Yeah. Oh, we have the evidence to deal with that immediately. Yeah. Why can't I be quiet as... Ha! Open those useless eyes of yours and take a good look at the footage. You will totally won't see a shadow rising up in the back. Hmm, if Mr. Fam really was in the understage passage, it would mean she was on stage and understage at the same time. Yeah, I know. Almost like she's in two places at once. What's your specialty? <laughs> Teleportation! You mean she was in two <laughs> places at once, just like you said? Huh. That does seem to be the only explanation that makes any sense. It may be an explanation, but I'm not so sure about the make sense part. Then we'll just have to make it make sense! Excellent! My favorite kind of logic. <laughs> Brute force? Yeah. Your Honor! The witness was both on stage and on her stage at the same time! And before anyone starts calling shenanigans about how impossible that is, LOOK AT THE SITUATION! <laughs> that is the defense's assertion! Hmm. I've heard some illogical things come out of you before. Hey! But this is absurd. I'm sure you'll change your tune. Once you hear my reasoning, Your Honor. My gut tells me you're bluffing, but I'll bite. Very well, Mr. Justice. How do you explain how the witness was in two places at once? There were two Bonnies. I don't need to say it, do I? Yep. There were two Bonnies, Your Honor. Haven't you been listening to the commentators just go on and on I ignore this? the voices in my head. If that were the... Ah, that, <laughs> what are you saying? If that were the case, it would all make sense, wouldn't it? There were... Two of them? I suspected you had a few screws loose, but now I see some are missing altogether. Is there a toolkit in this courtroom, Your Honor? Oh yeah? Screw you. Ah. My jokes always fail when they come back to technology. <laughs> I suppose two? No, three screws to the head should righten his putrid brain. Well, we did make a Frankenstein comment earlier. <laughs> You're right! Mm, very well. Bailiff, could you... Oi! <laughs> Please listen to my argument! Very well. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to at least give it a listen. As was argued earlier, Miss DeFam is shown in the footage the whole time. That's indisputable. Right. But at the same time, she was also watching Miss Wright in the understage passage. The only possible explanation is that there are two Bonnies. And we have Bonnie 2 on the stand right now. Yeah. Hmm. That almost sounds like it makes sense. What do you think, Prosecutor Sadmati? I think I have a headache right now. This humble servant of the Holy Mother is of the opinion that we should lose no time in replacing the defense's many lost screws. 
I agree, Apollo. But, Apollo, it goes against reality itself to say that one person is actually two? Kind of well said, but <laughs> we don't have to be bound by reality <laughs> in a video game! <laughs> After all, we're talking about magic here! <laughs> so, if the Bonnie de Femme in the footage is the real Bonnie, and the Bonnie here in the witness stand, the one who must have been under stage, this Bonnie de Femme is our second Bonnie. Hey, just like I said a minute ago. She is? Say we call the one in front of us Bonnie number two. What did I say last episode about being in sync? I, uh, yeah. I believe I have just a piece of evidence to prove that Miss Bonnie number two exists. Oh, then please submit your evidence, Mr. Justice. It's the fingerprints. That's the only thing it can be. What proves the existence right? of a body number two? It yeah, has it has to be. What else? Prints on the top panel. Unknown. Two sets of prints. One belongs to Bonnie, one doesn't. That ha Yes, that has to be it. No question. No question. I just don't ever want to rush. Take that. What's this? During our investigation, we found a set of unknown prints on the coffin on the stage. These prints were most likely left during the course of the show. But they didn't match the prints of any of the people involved in this case. Look, we have Miss DeFan's prints on this as well. Yeah. Uh, un unknown third party's fingerprints? I was not told of this. Ah, well, we found it out after you'd already made your investigation and made your decision, Mr. Man. Ooh, I like how his shawl is, like, slowly gyrating and twisting, too. You like, haven't... You've never noticed that? Well, I noticed it was floating in the air, but I just now noticed it was, like, slowly twisting, like a Mobius strip or something. Yeah, it's, it's, his, it's his magical Buddhist Kuraianese powers. Emma must have kept it from him. Good job, Emma! <laughs> so the question is... Who could these prints possibly belong to? They have to belong to somebody. Well, and this has to be relevant because it was during the show. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty easy way to find out, isn't it? All we gotta do is check your fingerprints. Miss DeFam. Or should I say Bonnie number two? These are your fingerprints, aren't they? They have to be. Yeah! <laughs> Enough of this foolishness! One person could not possibly be two. Those fingerprints could have been left not only during the show, but at any time. It's not like you <laughs> lose your cool like that, Prosecutor Sadmati. <laughs> and I'm sure you know that exactly when the fingerprints were made is not the main issue. What do you mean by that, Mr. Justice? The issue is, just like Damon said a minute ago, who do these unknown prints belong to? They're certainly not Bonnie DeFams. But what if they belong to the person standing right in front of us? Oh, you mean Bonnie number two is the second Bonnie? Good job, Your oh. Honor! Is that what you're implying? Oh, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> It's preposterous to suggest that those prints belong to the witness. I say they must belong to some other unknown individual. Wouldn't that be convenient? Prosecutor Sadmati, can you really look at her and still say that? I just wanted to suck blood! What are you looking at? Take a picture, it'll last longer. <laughs> How could this be? If we check her prints, I'm sure they'll match the unknown set. Is there some reason we shouldn't? It'll take like two seconds. Well, Bonnie, the prints that don't belong to the real you belong to you, don't they? Bonnie number two. <laughs> well, witness, is what the defense has said true? Hee hee hee. Fine, I'll admit it. The fingerprints are mine. Then does that mean 
You aren't body defam? What? Ridiculous! Are there really two bodies? I, I love that! Nope! There's only one Bonnie! That's because... I'm Betty! Betty DeFam! Aha! Uh -huh. Wh what Ladies and gentlemen of the court, it's time for a wondrous magic show! Gasp in amazement as this lagomorphic illusionist performs her teleportation magic. Watch closely, it's showtime! Yes? Well, now it'll be... Ah. Wow, they took control of the... of the power here! <laughs> Hi! Ah, I see. That is... really <laughs> awesome! Yeah! Sorry we ruined your careers! That was pretty amazing. That was a really great trick, but haven't we just destroyed them? Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. What an amazing trick. The witness has suddenly split into two people. Uh, Your Honor, now hold on. It's not a trick. No gimmick to it either. We're simply twins. What? Twins? Twins? Oh, sorry, Athena. <laughs> so that's how the teleportation trick works. Dang, those commenters were right again. <laughs> Ever since our debut, I've had to hide or pretend I'm Bonnie. You're not bitter or anything. All cute and sweet and goody goody. I can't tell you how stressful it's been. I'm so saddened by this. I'm the bitter. She's the sweet. Hey. The the the, the bitter, bitter sweet, sweet magician. <laughs> the bitter sweet buddies. But I don't have to hide anymore. That's right. Our days of sneaking around are finally over. Does that mean that Bonnie is implicit in this? You mean complicit? Complicit, yes. That's that word. Their cover's blown, but they actually seem pretty happy about it. I guess the stress is gone then. So which one of you is the nice Bonnie DeFam we met in the dressing room? That would be me. And the sharp-tongued Bonnie we saw with the ratings Raja under stage was... Hey! Who are you calling sharp-tongued? You, devil man! It's all starting to make sense now. <laughs> so, Mr. Justice, this changes the facts of the case rather dramatically, doesn't it? That's what I was thinking, Your Honor. During the show, it was Bonnie who was on stage the whole time. So Bonnie couldn't have committed the crime. But Betty, on the other hand, who was under stage, did have the opportunity. <laughs> I like how one of them has the ear flop so we can easily tell. Yeah, oh, the, and good the bad one, hair. The good one has the ear flop. The bad one has the bad hair. Well, so we now have two suspects. Except you just said that Bonnie isn't possible. <clears throat> Wait just a minute there, lobster boy. I didn't do it. That's right. Betty might have a foul mouth and a nasty personality. And hey! she's done kind of mean things to me throughout my entire life. And she's always cruel to other people. And she's a backstabber. Honey. But she never kill anybody. I prefer the term backstabber. Hey! Who's got a foul mouth here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... Well, speak up, huh? Hold it. <laughs> Please save your sibling squabbling for later. <laughs> I feel so bad for Bobby. <laughs> I know. Betty, you must have been in the understage passage during the show. Otherwise, you wouldn't have known about the stage lifts being moved. So, 
What exactly were you doing down there? Controlling Mr. Hat. Well, no, the controls are up. Uh, well, uh, that might be it, actually. Controlling Mr. Hat. Fine, I'll testify. Anything to get you off my back? Prosecutor Sadmati, Betty Defam is ready to testify. Uh, what do you say? Uh, <clears throat> Betty, you lied to this humble servant of the Holy Mother. Hey, what else could I do? I couldn't blow our cover and ruin our magic act, except I just did. <laughs> Besides, am I going to go to your twilight hell or whatever for being a liar? You will indeed. However, it won't be after your death. Or rather... Um... Yes! Oh, dang. I thought he was going to throw him at her. I shall give you a taste of your punishment on this mortal coil. In interrogation hell. Oh. <laughs> Now then, Betty DeFam, please explain to this court what exactly you were doing under the stage. Both of them? Oh, yeah! Here's some dual destinies for realsies! <laughs> well, the facts of the case have changed rather a great deal. I think we'll pick up next time... Where we will experience a witness testimony in stereo. Kee-hee-hee! <laughs>